In this video, I'd like to spend a few minutes and talk about the addiction archetype. I'm not going to unfold this the way I unfold most um, structures in Insight Maker because it's essentially identical to the drifting goals archetype. The side effect has simply been replaced by addiction so that you have a problem symptom with a symptomatic and a fundamental solution. It's just that the fundamental solution takes longer, more resources to actually bring into play, um, though it provides a longer term solution. The addiction aspect of this is something that will be seen shortly in the simulation form so that as the symptomatic solution is applied, the addiction grows stronger and stronger, making it making one dependent upon that addiction. The changes to the structure itself from the drifting goal structure or from the shifting the burden structure is that the fundamental action is now bi-directional so that the, the result of this action can add to the fundamental solution or subtract from it and the fundamental solution can also go negative meaning it just becomes more and more difficult to actually bring the fundamental solution into play and we'll see that in a moment so if you begin the same place that we left off with the shifting the burden structure and the symptomatic solution being invoked repeatedly to take care of the problem symptom that arises over and over again, things the structure looks pretty much the same. Though if you look at it on a longer time frame, this is done over a 10 month time frame. I haven't changed any of the parameters in the simulation. I've simply looked at what are the implications of this in the, in the longer term. And what it is, is that, that this growing addiction, which now begins to look like an exponential growth curve, which it should, because this is in fact a reinforcing loop, R3, so that the addiction is an, on an exponential growth curve actually causing the fundamental solution to be on a negative exponential decline and the symptomatic solution ends up getting implemented more and more frequently until it gets to the point where it's a it's a constant application to deal with the situation so that the addiction is simply causing us to go around in the same circle faster and faster and faster the, the way to deal with this situation is first to realize the nature of the addiction itself, understand the structure that's, that's controlling the way things that are behaving, decide to stop the insanity, and then find a support system to help because seldom does one ever escape from this structure on their own. And so I would encourage you to access this simulation model and alter the parameters here on the right and run the simulation repeatedly, changing these variables so that you get a sense of, of how the relationships interact and the implications of those relationships. Go ahead and, and turn off the, the addiction factor and the fundamental factor and look at just the, the balancing loop and then add a piece and, and just continue to interact with it until it, you become comfortable with the structure. So, hope you found this interesting, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.